Okay, now let's see a different example. Uh, this is another mass, and it's a combination of the more like a rectangular shape with uh, different words in different levels, which go uh, sometime in more than one level. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to uh, not just create the walls, but also how you can create the roof and the floor and everything based on only one mass. Uh, so let's go to the wall. I'm going to use a combination of uh, generic walls and uh, curtain panels for this one. Okay, so let's go to architecture, wall by face. Uh, the generic wall is selected. I want uh, this wall. So you see now we have a wall here, but not at the middle, so I'm going to take care of them separately. Uh, one in here. One in here. And one in here. Make sure you do not click more than once, because then there would be several walls on top of each other. Um, the same way we can create Curtain walls here, so I'm gonna change the wall type to maybe storefront, and I'm gonna click here once. That's good. Um, inside this void, which goes all over the building, I want to have that wall as a curtain wall, and that one as a curtain wall as well. Uh, let me see, I have another surface in here. I want this one to be a curtain wall, okay, and here at the top, uh, you see some of these walls are also sloped, uh, you just need to select one of the edges and move it forward. Uh, wall type storefront is not compatible for this one, that's okay. I'm going to continue with the wall by face. I'll take care of that one differently, but I can plan this one as well, because these two walls are sloped, they do not, uh, it does not create an automatic curtain wall based on them. Okay, now let's see, we have more walls inside here. I'm going to continue with wall by face, curtain wall, let me see. Maybe I'll leave that one as a concrete, so I'm going to take care of this one. I'm going to go back to the generic wall. I guess I was using the 300 millimeters one, and I'm going to click here once. Okay. Uh, now, oh, okay, and I have some walls here, so I forgot about these uh, kind of narrow walls in here. So it's still on the wall by face mode, so I can click here once. Okay, and I can click here once. Okay, so we got almost all of them except for the ones at the top. Yeah, that's all good. Now we can continue with the roof and the floors. So the same way we did the walls, we can go to roof by face. And uh, I'll go with a different roof, maybe. That's good. Same one. Okay. And again, we can select this, but the only difference regarding the roof is that you need to hit create roof after you're selecting. Okay, so you need two clicks, not one. Right? And then uh, we have only one roof. We can continue with. Uh, the floor, so I'm going to go floor by face. Um, that's good. And I'm going to click on... Uh, we have a little... We should have a floor here. Okay, let me see. Let me take care of the floor at the bottom first. 
Okay, it's not selected them. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Uh, actually, floor by face might not be the best idea. I'm gonna go with uh, a different method. I'm gonna select the mass, mass floors. I have created the levels already. Select the first one, hold shift, select the last level. Make sure to check the box and OK. There we go. Now we have floors all over. Finally, about that wall over there, uh, the sloped walls. I'm going to try this time, this uh, idea this time. I'm going to go with roof by extension. Sorry, roof by face. It's not a roof, it's a wall. But because it's sloped, we can treat it as a, as a roof. So I'm going to change the type to sloped glazing. I'm going to select here once. Create and select this wall. Create. Okay. And when we are all done, we can uh, hide or even delete the mass. And you can see that we have combination of uh, wall by faces and mass floors. I can change this to shaded and you can have a better idea. Um, if you want to make some changes later, you can reveal the hidden items. Uh, we can actually, I just need to reset the element item from here and we can select The, uh, I'm going to hit tab, we can select the mass itself, edit in place, let's say we're going to make the roof a bit more interesting, uh, we can click on the point, move it up and down, uh, the other side of the roof as well, I want to move it a little bit up, so it's going to kind of have a curved surface at the top. I'm gonna finish mass. And you remember when you do the changes, you need to come here, select the surface. Uh, maybe this wall, and then update to face. And I'm gonna repeat that for that other wall. And the other two walls, I unjoin elements, that's okay. So the walls are now updated. I can select this roof in here and update to face as well. And you see it's going to have that curved shape. I can now hide the mass. I'm not going to delete that. We might need to change it again later. Okay. So this is a different example. If you want to go with... Uh, a bit more simple ideas you can have something like this and finally I need to add the mass floor schedule here mass floor let's have the levels at the top so it's going to show up at the left the area floor area I'm going to go to uh, Grand Totals, the third tab, uh, Count and Totals. Also, I want to go to Formatting Floor Area and make sure to have Calculate Totals. Okay. I remember if you hit uh, TW, WT, you can switch between uh, different modes. So that's it for today. Uh, actually, one last thing, uh, when you hide the mass, you see there are some holes over there. Uh, I want to unhide the mass, and for those holes at the middle, that's where we can use floor by face. I want to click here once and make sure to 
click and create floor line sketches is slightly off axis and may cause now that's okay and uh, I can click this surface and uh, I can also click on that surface Uh, now I want to show you the difference between floor, architectural floor, and the mass floor. If I hide one of the walls in here, you can see that, let me also hide maybe the mass, HH is a short card for hiding, you can see that an architectural floor has a thickness and everything, but a mass floor is only a surface, right? So we kind of need both of them. We need the mass floor because at the beginning of the project, we need to know the total uh, floor area to see if we have enough room. But when we go further, we actually need uh, floors with thickness. So. Uh, we're gonna need a uh, floor by face okay so I'm gonna unhide the mass so it's not a bad idea to go with uh, floor by face for all the floors you can see you can uh, go with select multiple so you can select that one and uh, it's gonna create the force did that one, we did that one. Okay. So you see when you keep clicking, it's gonna add that to the selection and then you can just hit create floor. And one last thing is that uh, the very top floor, it does not have enough height here. So I'm gonna actually select the mass. I'm going to go to mass floors and I want to make sure that there is no floor on level 16. Okay, because it was too short, the height. So if you do this correctly, uh, let me reset the object. And now I want to hide the mass. If you do it correctly, you, need, you should have something like this by the end. So all the walls, floors, and the roof have a thickness now.